Good, good afternoon. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome everyone to a surprise live stream. So this week we had some crazy good news. This week, the CEO of Helium, Amir Halim, tweeted awesome news for anyone looking for an, to run an HNT validator very soon now. This got me thinking and also looking into everything going on. We also saw another tweet that said, had the actual merge of the validators code. This means that we are super duper close to validators being online and running. And so what does that mean for us? Challenges are gone. Consensus is gone. Very, very, very soon. And so looking at the the rewards, because I also noticed some rewards were, there's been a lot of questions about, hey, my rewards are down lately. And very like, just what's going on? And so I dug into a little bit and it seems like with block times being elongated that, that, um, that it's just taking longer, right? The network is growing. And so that's why we needed these validators. So we're seeing the effects of needing validators and, and earnings are, are just slowly winnowing down. And I've got some screenshots I'll share later. Um, not on this live stream, but I'll, I'll tweet them out or something. Um, but digging into that was saying, hey, the need is, is great for this. So yeah, we got the merge and um, there's some little bits of challenges that are, are lone wolves that I've been watching. They've been at zero for no reason. So I am willing to bet, but maybe not. I don't know. I could be wrong here, but speculating that validators are being run definitely in the background on test that we know that that's for sure. And, but I'm wondering if we're entering some interesting time where things are going to be tested out in production. So that's really interesting. Also, there was some weird stuff with Binance. I don't know if you saw this week, but there, there, the, the HNT deposits have been cut off for some reason. So again, more speculation to fuel your fire. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not the crypto uh, in, enthusiast or expert on it. Um, although I'm getting more interested in crypto as time goes on. And then another interesting tweet just tweeted out by Helium talked about 25 applications, I, I think if I read the number right, in progress, and I'll put the link down in the description. So um, let me pull the up here if I can find the right tab. Now, I guess, I, oh yeah, there it is. Great. All right, so we got Helltech Automation, Milesite IoT, SenseCap Seed, uh, COTX Networks, I2SOM, Palm, Layer 3, Rising HF, Linksdot, Smart Global, Pisces Miner, Freedom Phi, which we know is the 5G one, uh, Claude Pi, Dragino, and Brown Wireless Gateway. So we know that light gateways are coming and they are probably mixed up in these applications somewhere. So that's pretty exciting too. So we know that there's probably gonna be a lot more supply of miners coming very, very soon, as soon as the validators are alive. And of course, we're still in that very soon state, but this is something to be watching out for, all those names. And again, I'll put the link down on the in the description so you can check out those names later. Um, but that might be some of the answers to our supply chain problem. Also, that means for us that we're going to be able to participate in staking very soon. So uh, that also there, uh, there's a still a change in progress to be to be. It's, it's proposed that they're going to change the um, val validator staking time to I, I think it's 86 days or 125,000 blocks. So that's going to be really interesting. Um, they seem to say it's in the spirit of the original HIP for validators. So um, I'm guessing that will be accepted pretty quickly. So it has been a big news week for Helium. And so I thought I would give them a toast of a beverage. Hats off to the Helium team for a great week and great news. Look forward to more news. And as they say, H&T to the moon. Have fun, everyone. Peace.